Hello, my name is Dave Goodsell and I'm working on an article for Nuts and Volts magazine that's going to cover geniacs and brainiacs from the 1950s. Um, as part of the article, I'm going to include a number of videos that show how the geniacs and brainiacs work exactly. Now in this case, uh, this little demonstration here is of the uh, K20 that I took and modified quite heavily in order to do some interesting things that uh, the normal genie I can't do. And I've added a few uh, parts over on this side, some uh, vintage buttons to get things started. And I've added over here an Arduino, which is not uh, vintage at all. And what it does is uh, under each of these switches, A, B, C, and D, are servo motors in order to drive them directly instead of having to turn them by hand. So, but the Arduino actually just doesn't drive them due to intelligence. What it does is it watches the original lights, A, B, C, and D, and Z, and ma makes the decisions based on the rules that the, the original manual laid down on the moves. And of course the wiring in the background, in the, on the back of the panel, is exactly the same as it was back in 1950. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, play a game. We're going to do two different ones and here's the first one. We'll start this. Use mode switch to select desired mode. Then press start button again. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do the uh, player first mode and see how that goes. To play M, rotate any switch any amount toward zero. Moving spinal switch to zero, win. Player's turn. Press player's button after move done. If you want help deciding move, press help button. Okay, as these lights tend to get loose. Okay, well the first move today is going to be a D to zero, which we're going to do there. Push the player button. Machine's turn. Machine uses flashing lamps to decide next move. Player's turn. Press button after move done. Okay, and we'll do an A. Zero. Machine's turn. Player's turn. We'll do a C. Oop. Machine's turn. Well, it looks like this is the last move. And we'll plug that in. Winner, winner, winner. And of course, since I made all the right moves, uh, the player wins in this case, which uh, <laughs> unless you know all the secrets, uh, that won't happen. Okay, the only other little demo will be the red versus blue, where the machine actually plays against itself and the Arduino controls everything based on the rules that were set down and the wiring in the back. Okay, here we go. Use mode switch to select desired mode, then press start button again. Okay, we'll move the mode switch over to that. Push this again. You have selected red machine versus blue machine. Use player button to select which machine starts first. Red. Well, red. we'll do the red. Red. Press start button to start machine play. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Red. Blue. Red. Blue. Red. Blue. Red. Winner. 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 Press start button to begin. Well, you can start a new game, but that that's about it. Um, of course, the red one since it's, uh, it started first. All right, well, this concludes this demonstration. I just wanted to show you how this uh, interesting little thing works with the servo motors in the back. And uh, probably you'll see a, a, a write-up about this in Nuts and Volts in about six months or, or whenever they get around to it. So I hope you um, enjoyed this video, and uh, thank you for watching.